So in my opinion, I think the Thorn is the best hand cannon for PvP. Just because of, you know, the burn damage and its consistency that it has throughout PvP makes it at the top of the list. And in this video, I'm going to give you guys a quick, right to the point guide on how to get Thorn and what you need to do in order to complete each of its quest steps. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. What I want to do to get this quest is you want to go to the EDZ and you want to go to the Trost Land. And once you get here, you are actually going to want to go to the Salt Mines. And all you're going to do is just follow where I am going in this video. Um, I kind of, I'm not going to speed up anything because in the videos that I watched, I know for a lot of play, uh, players that are like beginning, they kind of don't really know where they're going. And when you speed up the video, they kind of lose track. So I'm just going to, let's just play out and explain little by little what you need to do. I'm not going to go in full detail because it's really not that hard. Okay, so once you get to where I am, you're going to see a teleporter. And all you got to do, you don't have to kill any ads. You can run past all of them. You just have to enter the teleporter. And once you do that, it will teleport you. And you're just going to want to go up this hill, and it's going to be a hidden path. So as you go up this hill, you're going to keep running by everything. Don't even waste your time killing them. And as you can see... If we keep going, there's going to be a little path that we can actually keep running to and jump up. So yeah, once you pick that quest up, you're going to want to go back to the tower and talk to Banshee. And you just got to click accept. So for the next step, it's really up to you how you want to do it. You can either do the bounties on IO. Or you could kill Warlocks and Crucible, and you could even run Nightfall Strikes. Now, Nightfall Strikes do grant the most progress. However, I personally am a PvP player, and I enjoy PvP the most. So I'm going to get this done in PvP. However, you can do whatever you feel like it. It really doesn't matter. So as you can see, after two Crucible, it took me like a game and literally like a minute of the second match to complete this quest. So after completing this part of the quest, you have to move on, and it's basically kind of the same idea but this time you need to do bounties on titan kill titans in crucible or you can do heroic blindwell events which are located in the dreaming city so heroic blindwell encounters are the fastest way to complete this but like in the quest that before this it is up to you how you want to do it so once you complete this you're going to need to move on into the next step of the quest and this is going to be either completing bounties from anabray on mars defeating hunters in crucible or completing an escalation protocol wave and because right now hunters are like all over crucible in my opinion if you're gonna do any of these in crucible this would be the quest step to do it in just because of the amount of hunters in the game and in crucible right now but if you do like your pve you can either do bounties and es escalation protocols do grant the most progress so you can do it that way so the next quest step is called weaponize the unknown and in order to complete this you have to deal void damage in crucible and this is one of those quest steps that you have to do crucible you can't do pve it must be done in crucible it might take you a little bit if you don't typically play pvp and if you don't i would not recommend doing it in the survival playlist however if you are comfortable enough to play survival then you will complete this quest the fastest so void precision multi kills in the survival playlist does grant the fastest efficiency to complete this quest and there are some hand cannons that are actually easy to get that you probably already have so starting off on the list you have the lamina hc2 the thin line hand cannon the optative hand cannon in the Aikilos hand cannon which was actually introduced recently again in the brand new dungeon prophecy now since you do need void damage you should be using a void super and in your heavy slot you can use hammerhead or temporal claws the hammerhead is a forge quest step and temporal claws you can get from the prismatic recaster through umbral engrams and i'm gonna be honest this is probably the hardest quest step out of all of them just because of how much time it could take if you don't do it in the survival playlist but it's really taking about a day of crucible you know at most it took me about an hour 
of doing it in the survival playlist and I was using the Lamina HC2. And this is the quest step that a lot of people actually give up on because they think it takes too long. So you can use other void weapons like Gnawing Hunger and whatever else you're really comfortable with as long as it is void. However, just know it will take you longer. And after hitting yourself because you've been doing PvP for so long and you've been getting shredded by autos all day, once you are finally done, you want to go to the farm and then you want to talk to Tyra Karn. And after you talk to her and you accept what she has, you're going to need to do which is also another pain in the arse the chasm of screams so the chasm of screams is a strike and it is pretty hard i won't lie you will definitely need a friend to bring with you and if you don't have a friend well then you can just come to my stream twitch.tv slash tricks and i will gladly help you over there if you need it i help people with it all the time and what you need to do is there are going to be two knights that spawn in and you have to kill them both you want to make sure you don't kill the boss like instantly so if you go in with a full stack of three and just laser the boss right off the bat you will not complete this quest make sure that you kill both of them when completing this step and as you can see once you complete it you do have thorn in your inventory so if this video did help be sure to like comment and subscribe i did do this whole thorn quest for my friend it did take me quite a little bit to do because i wanted to do it for a video but yeah good luck with getting your thorn and i will see you all in the next one all right peace <laughs>